today's episode, we remember the revolutionary freedom fighter Bal Krishna Hari Sapekar, who was martyred on the 12th of May 1899. Bal Krishna, along with his brothers Damodar Hari Sapekar and Vasudev Hari Sapekar, popularly known as the Sapekar brothers and accomplices Mahadev Ranade and Sathe, assassinated British official W. C. Rand and his military escort on the 22nd of June 1897. Bal Krishna was born in Pune, Maharashtra, in 1873. The passionate speeches of Bal Gangadhar Tilak stirred up a strong feeling of nationalism in him. When the bubonic plague hit India in 1896-97, the government set up a special plague committee for managing the pandemic. The British plague commissioner W C Rand unleashed a reign of terror in the name of fighting the epidemic through atrocities over quarantines, segregation camps and plague hospitals. He ordered indiscriminate burning of properties, violated private domains, and committed outrages on women. The Sapekar brothers decided to kill Rand to free Pune from his terror. On the 22nd of June 1897, the Diamond Jubilee of the coronation of Queen Victoria was celebrated in Pune. As planned, Damodar Hari waited at the gate of the government house, and as Rand's carriage emerged, he ran 10 to 15 paces behind it. As the carriage reached the yellow bungalow, Damodar made up the distance and called out, "Gondia alare!" A predetermined signal for Balakrishna to take action. Damodar Hari undid the flap of the carriage, raised it, and fired at Rand, who succumbed to his injuries on the 3rd of July, 1897. Balakrishna shot Rand's military escort, Lieutenant Ayerst, who died on the spot. The Sapekar brothers, Mahadev Ranade and Sathe, were caught. Damodar Sapekar was martyred on the 18th of April 1898. Vasudev Hari on the 8th of May 1899. Mahadev Vinayak Ranade on the 10th of May 1899. And Bal Krishna Hari on the 12th of May 1899. Sathe, though a juvenile, was sentenced to 10 years rigorous imprisonment. We salute the great freedom fighter. Today we also remember freedom fighter Rosamma Punnus, who was born on the 12th of May 1913 at Kanjirapalli, Kerala. Younger sister of the famous freedom fighter Akkamacharyan, popularly known as the Jhansi Rani of Travancore, Rosamma was active in the freedom movement and was jailed for about three years. After independence, Rosamma joined politics. and became the first person to be sworn in as a member of the Kerala Legislative Assembly Punnus was also the first pro tem speaker of the Kerala Legislative Assembly she had also served as the president of the Kerala Mahila Sangham and chairperson of the Plantation Corporation in 1987 she was elected to the state legislature from Alappura and till stepping down as a member of the Kerala Women's Commission in 1998 She was active in the political and social spheres of the state. Rosamma Punnus died on the 28th of December 2013. We pay tribute to the great Indian. We remember freedom fighter Banamali Ghasi who died on the 12th of May 1943. A resident of Koraput, Odisha, Ghasi was involved in the non-cooperation and civil disobedience movements. He took active part in the Quit India movement in Odisha in response to the nationwide call of Mahatma Gandhi. Banamali Ghasi with other agitators was arrested and detained in the Navarangpur jail. There he contracted a severe disease due to the adverse and hygienic living conditions and lack of medical care. Under these circumstances he and other political prisoners were shifted to Koraput district jail where Banamali Ghasi died on the 12th of May 1943. We salute the great martyr.